Hi everyone. My name is Jai, the content of this video is about the password dictionary blacklist. What is password blacklist? According to a website whatis.techtarget.com the password blacklist is a list of words disallowed as user passwords due to their commonplace use. Blacklists may also incorporate rules to prevent the use of common passwords with frequently used modifications such as capital letters, standard substitutions or numbers following the words. These rules can help protect against password cracking software that works with dictionaries of commonly used passwords, which also often include the ability to apply frequently used modifications. Now, let's try to put it on our login page. Using the password blacklist, just so we can understand its functions. And for us to see the written codes, let's open our index.php file, this is our login page. I will explain. Above we have a start session, so we can get the session value of our app logged in variable. Once we get the session value of our app logged in variable, we can check if we are logged in or not. We are still using binary value 1 and 0. When the value of our app logged is 1, redirect the page to successfully log in. When the value is 0, it will be returned to the login page. Here we put our title login form. Give me a clue. Do I make a move? Tell me maybe what you wanna do. In the title of the page, we put the login form. This is our form action event, using post method in a close form below. And this is the text box for username input. Next is the text box for the password. This is the development for the display of the error message. Then the last is the sign in button. Uh, hey, oh. Clicking the sign in button we will call the submit.php file. So let's open the submit.php file, so we can see its content. I will explain. Above there is a PHP function require once, for us to read the value of our constants variables, such as database user ID, and password. We also have a function for reading, the contents of our password dictionary. The dictionary format is XML file, because it is a file, even if it is multiple access, unlike database tables still need a query string to retrieve data, which causes our application to slow down. This is the path of our password dictionary, the file format is XML. Then we check the
bass. Let's use a SHA-256 encryption. For now, this is one of the safest to use to encrypt our password, because its encryption is only one way, which means, it does not have a decryption. We have used a prepare statement for our query string. In this setup, we cannot directly execute the value of the parameter conditions in our query string. When our users are legit, the next thing we do, is write our app logged in session variable into one value, which means successfully logged, and we will redirect to the successfully page. On this page, there is a welcome message to our users, and there is a sign out button for us to return to our login page. Clicking the sign out button, we will call the process.php file. We open the process.php file, so we can see the written codes. We have a destroy session function, to delete all the contents, of our session variables, used by our users. Say no.